So after looking at the new Parkside performance tools that uh, came out this season, uh, I was surprised to see that the uh, grinder uh, tool, the PWSAP20, has not changed uh, version number. So this is the older C3 from last year, 2020 production. This is the C3 of 2021 production. Um, Interestingly enough, there have been some fairly substantial changes uh, to the quality and comfort of the tools, but these aren't really specified anywhere. So I just wanted to do this quick comparison. So for the older model tool, as you can see, is the uh, 08 2020 production corresponds to this uh, model number, while the newer tool of the uh, 2021 production series corresponds to uh, this model number. So both of them, when you look at their uh, model markings, so this is the newer tool, while this is the older tool, there is no difference on the markings whatsoever. The uh, most uh, striking difference, of course, is the inclusion of the cutting shield uh, with the newer version uh, that just slides onto uh, the grinding shield, while uh, with the older version, uh, this was indicated in the manual as being a optional extra sold uh, through some support contact. Otherwise, we still maintain the identical uh, quick change uh, nut. The most important change is the mechanism used to rotate uh, the uh, protective shield. So on the 2021 version, we have this nice uh, detent ball with spring uh, with these indentation on the shield that really gives a nice satisfying click to the tool. So you can see that uh, the shield also is uh, fully enclosed with this ring around the shaft. Meanwhile, on the old version, uh, the shield just goes to halfway basically, and it only has has this uh, sheet metal uh, bent uh, spring device uh, that operates the movement. And this is very uncomfortable to move, doesn't seem very responsive, is sort of scratchy compared to the very nice click, click, click action of the new version. And also what's changed, you might be able to notice that here is just that front uh, spindle output area has uh, changed uh, construction a little bit. You can see it from the front. Uh, the newer tool has this sort of uh, spline arrangement to retain the shield and it has this spring clip on there while the older version just had this screwed on uh, sheet metal plate retaining the protective shield and giving it the uh, uh, rotational articulation. Otherwise, they seem fairly similar. The diameter uh, ball bearing in the bottom there seems pretty similar. Uh, from the side, most of the moldings look pretty much identical uh, as far as buttons and other things there is really no difference whatsoever. So I just wanted to make uh, this quick video to show these uh, little differences. Uh, certainly the newer version is much more comfortable with this nicely uh, spring detented uh, shield movement and it includes a free cutting cover uh, that is also nice to have. So bear this in mind when you are picking up uh, these grinders and uh, that you're able to recognize the versions. The main difference is visible on the model uh, uh, sticker where it's either a 2020 production or a 2021 production. I hope you like this video and uh, hope to see you on the channel again soon. Bye-bye.